Hello and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be showing you how to make some super easy black and white marble howlet earrings. Everything I'm using today I'm going to have listed down below, so let's get started. Starting with the white, I'm using Sculpey Primo today and I'm going to start chopping that up. Just keep in mind how big the pieces are is going to directly correlate to how much marbling you have in your earring. So smaller pieces equals more marbling and bigger pieces equals less marbling. I've mixed in a little bit of black acrylic paint and I'm going to make sure every single piece is coated and then I'm going to leave this to dry completely. Gold leaf is optional but I'm a sucker for a pop of gold so I'm going to throw some in there and then I'm going to add a squiggle of bacon bond and mix that all up. Now to form my cane, I'm picking up those pieces and squeezing them together, applying a lot of pressure trying to minimize any gaps in between my clay. I'm using my long blade to cut my cane into nice even pieces and this is how it looks. And I'm going to show you a trick in one second to help clean up any of that dragging that the black paint causes. And here's the black marble. I did the exact same thing except I used black clay and then I added white paint. I'm laying my pieces down just ever so slightly overlapping onto a really thin piece of translucent clay and this is just going to allow those pieces to stick together a little more easily when I put them through my pasta machine. I rolled both of my slabs out using the zero setting on my pasta machine, just keeping in mind that the thinner you roll them, the more spaced out your marbling is going to be. You can use any cutters you like, I've just grabbed a few here and I'm taking a look at my whole slab before laying them down just to make sure I'm going to get all the best bits in there. I threw those in the oven to bake and then once they've cooled I'm going to go over any rough edges with my Dremel. Sometimes the Dremel has a harder time getting around the edges of these more intricate cutters, so I usually just go in with my X-Acto knife and clean up the edges that way. A little more precise. This is the stage where you can clean up any drag marks that your paint may have caused. I'm using a Q-tip and a little bit of acetone and I'm just going to very gently wipe away where I don't want the paint to be. You want to be careful, you don't want to go too crazy because it can end up spreading the paint around more. Just a very light touch and make sure your Q-tip is clean. If you want more of a matte look, you can stop here, but I like a little bit of gloss, so I'm gonna add a little bit of resin and I'm spreading that around using my silicone tool. I'm going over these very quickly with my lighter to pop any small bubbles, and then I'm gonna throw these under my UV lamp to cure. For my hardware, I'm gluing on some gold backings, and then for a smidge extra security, I'm just adding a little more resin. I've got my Dremel again for drilling some holes and now I'm just going to add the rest of my hardware. And here they are all finished. This is such an easy technique but it always gives such like nice classic elegant looking earrings and it's very versatile. You could use any color really that you wanted to. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to see us make something specific, please comment that down below and we'll see you in the next one.